and uh, uh, Fabian North Carolina. Uh, but I like to say something to add to what Brother said. And I believe this because that this is a very important factor uh, because of our situation that uh, that existed for in the past. Because that uh, we don't want to see the baby uh, come existing. And because that uh, we think that something is new that is coming and coming about. And any time that uh, you try to uh, kill the baby before it grow bigger, it's not good. Because that <clears throat> we have that grafted artificial mentality mind that existed in our own our heart and our own souls. <clears throat> but I believe that uh, 360 is a good uh, uh, radio station mm -hmm. for the uh, Muslim community all over, the, all over the United States and hopefully all over the world. Because that's communication to uh, all the masjids throughout the country. And I believe that uh, you have some selfless individuals that is in the community around the world, around the United States, that don't want to see this grow. And I believe that if this really and truly uh, come out, the baby come out the womb of his mother and, uh, and start developing, I think this is going to be real good. Because what it is is that <clears throat> they don't, uh, many of your um, so-called uh, educated uh, imams, I'm saying it, they don't want to see this happen because that they want to shut their door from this because they didn't start it, you see? And they are not the one that started it. And so that they are not the one that started it, so they'll try to kill it. So, I, so my brother Thomas, I'm saying to you that you continue doing what you're doing and because that this is going to be a help for the community around the United States, our community, to order to communicate and to get to know each other. And because, of the, because I said that, because that you want to have uh, those type of people that want to try to sabotage you. So hopefully it shall allow God to create the Lord of all the worlds that you keep forward. Thank you. What I'm going to do, I want to use these cars too often. But I hold them up. Please respect that. That's good. That's okay? That's this is good why I, I, I mean, you know, something, it, 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 I mean, I do want to hear your story. You know, these bits and pieces, I don't want your whole story. <laughs> these are not today. You know, so it's okay to tell some stuff about where you've been, how you've been, and because I know it's going to come out and that, but, but do understand that if everybody did that, we'd be in trouble. Um, we would get nothing done, we wouldn't get too far. So just respect when I hold those two things up and then we can move. And I also want to make sure that the sisters you know, can jump in here and get done. Yeah, yeah. 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 I hear from the sisters. Don't want to get to what's from Lester. As long as they can. Some, um, some years ago, um, I was sharing a house with another Muslim and um, I had a problem doing some lot with him. Um, because I felt as though we were like two horses yoked together, but trying to go in different directions. Mm -hmm. And what I think we assume, because we're all here, that we have the same aim, and we might be doing the same thing, but we might actually be trying to reach different goals. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is that so what is the point? Is that, yeah, is that preventing progress? And, uh, Absolutely, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also, also, Ask yourself, kind of this, where would I categorize what somebody said? Okay? And I would just say he's given us discoveries, he might even be given us a, a, a current situation. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He is telling us, you know, this is kind of, again, let's discover, let's understand that all of us don't have the same quote, let's say, as one understanding that. Or, you know, we have different views, but it's also stating the current situation. And sometimes that may help us understand each other and kind of figure out how do you classify what somebody is saying. Everybody understand me? Mm -hmm. And it can keep the thing moving, but it also helps us, because eventually what I'm going to do is we're going to have things that discovery, we're going to have dream, and then we're going to have to begin to classify this conversation. All right? So, so let's understand that as we, as we go 
full. And obviously, this circuit is a little bit of that. It's discovery, current situation, but it's also part of investigating ourselves, researching ourselves. But the other part of this thing is a narrative. You've asked people, what is your, what is the number one problem, issue concerning the community? That's what I'm working on. Yeah. And we're going to have to synthesize what people say. Some, and I, I've already tried to remove redundant things, okay, as much as I could. Little things, particularly. I've already tried to remove that. But you're looking at it here in its raw state. Other than that, I haven't changed. I did probably correct somebody's grammar or something like that there. But I made no other changes. I didn't try to make it lean in one direction or another. What is the most positive thing you are aware of that's happening since the passing of Water to Dean Muhammad? What is the positive? And then, there's the next question. That yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm not leaving this, I'm just question. Please paint a descriptive picture of what you would imagine the community to be. Now, what kind of question is that based on this? Where would you classify that question? Please paint a descriptive picture of what you of, of what you would imagine the community of what the Dean Muhammad to look like or be doing five years from now. Where does that fit in? Huh? Yeah, it could actually be destiny. Dream. Well, dream. Yeah. Okay. So Outcome. Well, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, good. Uh, well, I, you know, I've respond, I've, I've tried to respond to questions like that in terms of, well, what are my um, goals, what are my efforts aimed at accomplishing, you know, mm -hmm. in a community sense, rather than as though the community is going someplace out there and I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, I, well, that's... No, okay. I hear you. And I guess I would say design. I'd say, uh, I'd say um, um, uh, desire. We, we, we have to have some type of um, a spirit, a desire spirit, that inside the soul. Because if you have, your soul is there and you don't have no spirit, inside of that soul, it ain't going nowhere. You see, because that you're just sitting there. It's just like a, a boat that's sitting in the water. It ain't, it no wind coming or nothing is manifesting. So you're just sitting there. So I believe that we need a inspirational spirit in our own souls to order to move forward. And I believe that's somewhat dead right now uh, in, around, around this, uh, around this uh, country. But I, but I believe that uh, if we begin to look at Imam W.D. Muhammad, when he was here, we had a lot of spirit within our souls. And then, but when he passed, it seemed like that spirit went out the window. Mm -hmm. And we should not, we should not, somewhat, because that, uh, we should not just look at him as a physical uh, human being that he passed away so where everything stopped, mm -hmm. you see? So we should look at still his spirit, it is his education, his knowledge, it's still the system. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to really look at, you see? Because that if we want to get things really started, <laughs> if we want to get things really started like we're supposed to, we really got to pick up the, edu the education of knowledge through the Quran and the life of the Prophet. Mm -hmm. and those are things that we need to do. So that yes, Tari, speaking. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I would just like to say that, that I, uh, one of the most essential things in order to get anything from any point is with structure. And I emphasize structure because I think that is where you, what we're doing now and what our brother Abdul Salam, brother uh, Thomas, what he's doing is and presently presenting is a structure. Whereas we can get from point A to point B to, and, and further, but to have a, a specific uh, concept of where we're going. And so I would just like to say that structure is, uh, is paramount and that we should really work, work very, uh, very uh, intensely uh, and, and, and um, put as much effort into making sure that we try and do structure and, and everything that we do. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah, we're running Muhammad. Uh, some of us may seem confused. 
but some of us are not confused at all. Where we're going, inshallah, is a clear vision of Prophet Muhammad in his last kufa. Mm -hmm. And Prophet Muhammad in his last kufa, he made the prayer. He said, oh Allah, make Al-Islam the dominant religion in the whole world. That's where we're going. Mm -hmm. But we have to learn how to dominate, or be dominant in a more positive sense and not, you know, take advantage and slave. Mm -hmm. But we're going to that point. Now, Dr. Bagby, he used, he used to be a professor at Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina. He's one of the first Muslims in the United States of America a few years ago to count all the Muslims. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Bagby, uh, when he met Dr. Muhammad, uh, came on the scene. Dr. Bagby, he clocked us at 1.5 million Muslims in the United States of America. And that was before he met Dr. Muhammad died. Mm -hmm. And so, you brought up the point earlier, what is the total of what do we think is the total number of Muslims in the United States of America? My educated guess at this point is 1.7 million Muslims in this country. Let me say, first of all, the question was about what's, what's in your city? And the answer oh, is that, and right. respond to your yeah. what you call them, 8 million plus Muslims in America. Say it again. 8 million, 8 yeah. million yeah. plus. Yeah. 8, eight yeah. million yeah. plus. Right. Let me take, let me it's, take. Not our, it's not our concern. Yeah. We're focusing in on the community of what is the Deen Muhammad. Right. All right? That's, we cannot take on all of this. Right. So our, our focus, our goal is what is the Deen Muhammad. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I want everybody to to be clear, because I, I don't want to get too far off base. Mm -hmm. our, our concern is that. And then I'll take a few questions, but let's kind of keep them short, and then let's try to go forward. Yes, uh, <coughs> Naeem Sabir. Uh, I heard several things that I think is very vital and paramount. And the one that the brother mentioned here was structure. Mm -hmm. And the other one, I don't know if you have it there, what and is it's trust. Mm -hmm. Now. Under the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Allah forgive him his sin, he granted him paradise also. He had a dynamic program. And brothers have mentioned about motivation, profit right. motivation. Right. This little man was able to motivate a whole nation of people. <laughs> Even well, those who wasn't part of the nation of Islam, they more or less copycat off of what the right, Honorable Elijah right, Muhammad right, was doing. Right. But the one thing that was wrong with that program is the people that was at the helm, the ones that was handling it mm -hmm. and managing it, mm -hmm. a lot of them knew what they were doing. Some of them didn't know what they were doing. <clears throat> and why do I say that? Because we were told to put money in a big pot. Mm -hmm. We are going to build money, good homes, and friendships and all that right. to life. Right. Right. We had farms up in Cassopolis, Michigan. Mm -hmm. A lot of people donated money to purchase those farms, but they never had a chance to taste one apple to come off the tree. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, if mm -hmm. this is not set up mm -hmm. on a collective line where people put their money in, mm -hmm. and if it's set up, the structure is right, mm -hmm. where the people gotcha. trust, mm -hmm. then they will put their money in. Mm -hmm. That's right. But they have to get something out of it, not Absolutely. like in the Absolutely. first experience. They have Absolutely. to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Mm -hmm. And this, this is only a common sense approach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, my last comment, I'm going to have to... Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Brother Archie Mustafa, Fayetteville, right. Omar right. Sayyid. So, with what I said before in listening, I think what I'm visualizing, and also I see as probably one of the big the negative hurdles we have to get, it's like when I read the Quran, it says, Oh, ye who believe. I think we're stuck on Muslims. We have to go past just being a Muslim and become a real believer, which means I trust you. And I, I'm, I'm part of the bigger picture now. Not so much, well, you know, I've got this name, I've got a name, I've got somewhere to go worship. It has to be bigger than that, but it has to come from do for self. Things that do for self, well, you've got to believe in yourself. Uh, this brother started something. I'm trying to start something. It was just a vision, a dream. But I had faith and I believe it. You know what? I see it growing. Mm -hmm. It's growing a little bit, but I see it growing. And I think that's what the individuals have to do. They have to apply themselves, like the brother was talking about the bees and all that. Mm -hmm. They don't start working. <laughs> OK, 
care what anybody says. Right. And that's what we have to do. Not you stop working. Right. And so <coughs> structure to uh, function properly. So we didn't really know the people in the structure. Mm -hmm. and, and we kind of talked about that a little bit this morning and later, but here's what I think what we uh, do. A lot of things get sick. A lot of things got sick. And that's, I think structure seems to be a little concern. A little what? Structure uh -huh. seems to be a concern. Yeah. Uh -huh. So why don't we concentrate on structure for a moment? So what I want to do, this is, so what is, when we say structure, what is structure? What are we talking about? Anybody, anybody, anybody. what are we talking about? Right. <coughs> what do we mean? So you gotta say your name before you talk. Okay, my name is Naeem Hassan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, I, and I believe that uh, dealing with structure, it, it's something, uh, I'll put it uh, just like a, 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 a child, a baby, that is uh, developing in the womb of his mother. And uh, you have that type of uh, child that's in the womb, it develops, it, it, it hit. The head is beginning to grow uh, in the womb. And, it, and uh, you will see that the, the, the head is called the emerald. It's uh, based on this, it's growing the ears, the eyes, the nose, the lips, I'm all these are speaking. I'm still trying to get, I hear the baby thing, but I guess yep. what I need now is. Grab it home, Diane. Yeah, I'm going to bring it home if you get that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so uh, when, you, when you're dealing with that particular uh, structure, uh, you're dealing with the complete of that child that is in the womb of his mother, which is based on the, the embryo and the fetus that is inside of the, of the womb. And that, is, that baby is complete. That's a part, a part of a structure that is complete by Allah God creator, the Lord of all the worlds. So now that particular uh, child is uh, developing for a period of time and that child, now that baby is ready to come out the womb of his mother. And uh, we hope that, that the structure of that child, that it won't come out feet first, that it will come out head first. And if it do come out feet first, but it, the structure's not as good as it's supposed to be. But it's come out head first, and that's, that's a good structure because the head confers. And then when the head confers, and then the, the body, then that the baby is ready. ready. Because now that the structure that is inside the womb, now that it's outside the womb, now that that baby is connected outside. So now you've got a bigger car there that needs to be cut. So now that means that everything is basically is complete. But if it's not complete, then it's a problem. But now is everything is, 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 is great on that particular situation. But one more thing I want to add, if you will, is that uh, once you get your, your structure together, then you'll have the brother you see in trust. That is very important to trust. And the most important thing is when you have trust, then love each other and take on more responsibility. We got to try this over. Oh, oh, I can get out of here. Evolution. Evolution of the structure. I'm not sure yeah, that's what I got. So that's uh, Adam. Uh, um, yes. That's not like a missus. Like I'm, 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 I'
I'm, I'm going to the definition of structure. Mm -hmm. So let's define it based on Webster or whatever. I think in that definition, it gives us some insights. Well, before you go, who's all going to have dinner tonight? Dinner is not part of it. Was not, dinner tonight was not part of the registration. Who's going to have dinner tonight? I believe it's $15. Right? Is it $15 for dinner? Five. These were the five. Didn't you see it? Ten. 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 You said ten. Because we're going to need a head count for him. And then, like I said, who is Esther? Uh, ten dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't go. Yes, I did. I gave my one. Yeah, you need to get Okay. So, uh, dinner, and so we just need a head count of who's going to get dinner tonight. Everybody just raise your hand and we can count that one, two, three. Is the dinner being prepared here? Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. You don't have to move. Just sit there. Huh? Give me a minute. Oh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. He's going to eat. He's going to eat. Are you Okay. You're going, to need, you're going to need dinner here? No. Okay. So we're just talking one, two, three, four, I'm five. I'm leaving in a few minutes. I think I, 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 I got you. Stick, stick to that plan. I'm back to dinner if you want to stay. This is this is um, historic. Pardon me? Oh, this is historic. Do we go with this? <laughs> if Ronald's going to buy it, it's that's historic. That's that's historic. That's take, take, take I'm back to dinner if you're going to stay. That's historic. We're going to buy a new dinner. Organization for purpose? Purpose, yeah. Okay. When I think of structure, I think of a, a, skeleton, a support. 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 Mechanism. Okay. And as, as the old man, as the old man did here, uh, some of you may agree, not uh, disagree, but anyway, prayer. Salah. Prayer is key. What I, what I would say about structure, and particularly for I think what we want to do, you know, is is that, and I, I, right now when you go with you know, organization and I guess for a purpose, we we're not just building a structure that doesn't have some kind of a, well, I guess purpose, but me, you know, we, we have a particular use that we want to make happen, right? Right. Okay? So, 
organizational purpose, with a purpose. I'm not saying that these other things are not there, because there are definitely parts in the organization. There will be discipline, it will evolve, there will be support, they probably will pray. But organizational, we need an organization with a purpose. Okay? We just don't need any organization. So you can design many kinds of organizations. We want an organization with a purpose. So now you would ask yourself, so what is the purpose of our organization? What is the purpose of our structure? Okay. We say we want, I'm going back, back uh, book trial we have in the, in the core values. We want managerial and fiscal accountability. Right? We want managerial and the fiscal accountability. That's what we're saying was missing in the nation of Islam. Right? The managerial accountability. Money came in, but we don't know what happened. Not all the time. Same thing in mass jibs or whatever. All right? Adam, you're, you're your accountant? Or, okay. I mean, if there was an accountant sitting here, okay, and Certified, you know, I'm not talking about his he's, book. He's an accountant, I'm a business administration major. Okay, okay. So, but my point thing. is, this person would uh, ensure, if they got any integrity, uh, they're going to ensure that whatever came in here is going to be accountable. It's going to be accounted for. Okay? Uh -huh. So my point is that we're building an organization with a purpose for accountability. All right? That's what we want. We want accountability. We want good managerial practices, all right? We want trust. We want integrity. integrity. Um, then, we can then go back and say, so what gets us here? You see what I'm saying? Because this is what we're taking short sure on. We're building an organization, a structure, that's what we started. Now we say we're going to build an organization with a purpose. We say our purpose is account accountability, managerial and managerial accountability, trust, integ integrity, and so forth. Now what gets you to that point? What kind of organization? Or what kinds of parts? What kinds of discipline? And they say prayer or support. What gets you to this? That's key. Huh? Work. Good well, work. And, and what is work? In relationship. In terms of well, you yes. have to actually. Well, let's go back. You know, let's That's go back good. to the business management that kind of thing. So, what would you say gets you here? From a business well, I, management I, I, point. I think of he touched on. He said work, and we need to understand what work is. Work is not just spinning the wheels. You hear, right here, we're saying, how do we get there? Okay? How do we get there? What are the number of options we have? We want to build a structure that leads us to this. So how, what gets us there? Okay? What? Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. I don't want to kind of rearrange it. It's okay. We have a structure mm -hmm. that we're trying to establish, which is the end result. Mm -hmm. The accountability, the trust are nothing but glue or cement to keep a structure yeah. sound. Mm -hmm. Absent accountability, you know, you need to have those kind of uh, bonding things. Accountability helps keep, you know, cement, trust is cement, discipline, all these are cement to make sure that the final product is strong. Mm -hmm. So they're not the ends, they're means to right, the end. Right. Okay. I'm talking about a plan. A plan. You have to have a plan. You got to have a plan. And I guess... And, and if, if I may uh, also, Brother, uh, Brother Salam, you run the Hunted Master Oli and Saeed. Uh, in the elementary school, we were taught work is force times distance. Mm -hmm. You see?
So you can have force, but if you don't make some discipline, you don't do work. Now, uh, Imam David Muhammad, he defined work as prayer. Prayer is work, and work is prayer. You see? So we're not really working unless we're making some time. And the honor of Elijah Muhammad, he taught us.